Today I'd like to talk a little bit about overtraining and hopefully I can clear up a little bit of confusion that you may have because I mean you go online and you can look at videos and there's a million over there. You know, people saying yes, you can overtrain, and other ones saying no, you can't. It's, it's, it's a myth, it's impossible, and science will tell you this, and science won't tell you that, and this and that. And I'll tell you what, in fitness there's no black and white. There's 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 so much gray area, and the reason is because everybody's at a different point of their training, uh, you know, in the training. You know, so you got the you know, you know, novices, you know, beginners, intermediates, advanced, and all the rules don't apply exactly the same to everybody, and that's what becomes a problem. Now, as you may know, as you when you first start training, you can almost do anything. <laughs> you can you can look at a weight and you will grow and you will get some progress out of it. As you become more advanced, it takes more to get there. Okay, um, so a lot of it has to do with the intensity and the amount of. Uh, you know, amount of force you put on your muscles. So if you, just like I believe, doing, you know, lower reps, higher weight uh, type of training, uh, you, and super intense, you don't have to do as many reps and sets, okay, to keep progressing and keep going, okay. Now, if you lift intensely and lift a lot of weight and heavy, and you keep trying to overreach and keep pushing yourself further, you know, so-called overtraining, I think there's a chance of getting injured. Um, and, and, and that's 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 the that's the potential hazard you have with that. Now, what I see most of the people how they train in the gym, uh, I say 90% of them, I don't I don't see that much that hard of intensity put into it. Uh, most people train pretty, uh, you know, <laughs> they don't train that intense. Okay, and with that in, in mind, I don't really believe you can overtrain. Uh, because you're, you're really not breaking down the tissue that way and it has plenty of time to rebuild. Now another factor that has to do with overtraining is, you know, at drugs. You know, guys that use drugs or women that use drugs, uh, the chance of them overtraining is very, 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 very slim. Okay, they, that's, what's, that's, what's, they, that's what helps them so much. Uh, they can keep training and training and training and training and training and their body's going to be able to recover. Um, but uh, I think a lot of it has to do with, again, what level you're at. So for instance, uh, an advanced athlete who trains heavy and low repetitions, um, after a certain amount of time, you can only add so much weight. You can only uh, add so much weight and, and, and intensity and then they get to a point, you're going to get to a sticking point. And I think at that point, you have to overreach, you have to stretch, you have to add some sets to it to keep moving on. Now, don't get me wrong. I believe uh, I've, the first good eight to ten years that I've trained, I've got good results and I continuous results off of doing uh, exactly that, low repetitions and heavy weight and just increasing, you know, learning how to uh, increase the intensity, learning how to do, you know, the cadence, the speed of that I do it at, uh, I do it slower and more controlled um, and I've been able to keep increasing that without having increased sets. Uh, but I think it gets to a point where you have to, okay? And that's where I, I disagree with um, a lot of these uh, low repetition, heavyweight uh, workouts because I think it comes to a point where you're going to have to uh, overreach and push yourself and, and, and overtrain, so-called overtrain a little bit to get your body to keep, a, keep, keep advancing. So in, in short, yes, if you train very, very... Uh, lightweight, you know, so-called height repetition and not intense, that intense, I don't really feel you can overtrain. I don't really think that. I've never heard, I don't see any science to really back it and I don't, I don't really see, I don't think that can, can happen. Now, if you train extremely intense, extremely intense and heavy weight, uh, yes, after time, you will, you will keep increasing the chance of getting injured, okay, uh, and, and so-called overtraining over a period of time. So, you know, I'll stay, I'll stay between five and say seven uh, sets for, for a body part. Um, I, say, I say most people shouldn't go past that if they're, if they're training intensely. Um, but then again, as you get, get more advanced and further on, uh, you're gonna have to increase a little bit. Like for instance, uh, I never did five to seven, more than five to seven sets for a good almost 10 years. And then I realized I had to increase my sets. 
you know, I only, only increase it one to two sets. So now I do maybe eight to nine sets, okay, per body part. Um, but it took a long time for me to get there and, and, and for me to need to get there, okay? So there it is. <laughs> I know there's probably a million more questions you may have about it. Uh, so if you just uh, go ahead and email me at uh, uh, carlhaganbb at gmail.com. I'll get back with you and hopefully, you know, help you uh, clear up a little bit of confusion. Um, I could make this video 10 minutes long probably and talk forever. But I know that uh, the tension span of most people's <laughs> these days is pretty, uh, pretty slim. So I'll leave it at that. If you've got any questions, go ahead and email me, all right? So uh, have a good one.